Hello and welcome back to Control. Somebody was just yelling at us. Uh, I think it's a reach. We're supposed to go up there and uh, talk to a reach. That is what our current quest says. Called Threshold. Marshall sends Jesse to Blackrock Processing in the maintenance sector to retrieve more Blackrock prisms. She promises to tell Jesse what she knows about Dylan once the HRA production is up and running again. But before we do that, I kind of want to go back. I want to go back to um, research to the Ritual Division, I think. And I want to go back into Protective Studies because I received a couple of comments after my last episode. Um, <laughs> one person uh, left me a funny comment saying how Jesse can pick up things and throw them um, and then sees glass and doesn't think to break the glass. Uh, well, uh, if I may um, defend myself, I'll tell you why I don't think to break the glass. Um, I think it, I, I think it's this room. Oh, darn it. Okay, well, let's do some uh, shooting here first. Oh, jeez, that stupid jerk. Uh-oh, there's uh, one of these things in here. Up, oh, he moved. Where'd he move to? Where'd he go? He's over here now. Okay, shut him up. Oh, there's a bunch of these jerks over here. Well, I wasn't expecting to get into a fight, but here we are. Should have done better. That just happens. Recharging, recharging. Oh, hi. Are we good? Everybody okay? Hey, right, that wasn't so bad. We got some stuffs. So, um... So anyway, I, I told you somebody left me a comment about breaking glass. Now, I don't know exactly which area the comment was referring to, but there is some glass in here, and somebody else left me a comment about the duck. Um, so this glass has, like, these squares in it that makes me think that it's like that kind of glass that's reinforced with a steel fence. And so I didn't actually think I could break this glass, but can I? See, I don't think I could break it. Yeah, you can't can't break this glass so either well yeah this glass cannot be broken um and I don't think this glass can either so unfortunately I don't know exactly what room the comment was referring to about breaking glass I'm going to guess it wasn't this room, and I, I kind of scrubbed through my last episode uh, trying to figure out um, where that last comment could have been referring to, but I couldn't figure it out. Let me look at the map. Um, okay, so maybe we get into this room from that door there, and um, you could see at the bottom of the screen there's like, looks like maybe a hallway or something. Um, so like if I back up here and go this way, I remember there was, um, I mean, these, oh, maintenance major targets, hold G to activate. Um, well, I did say that the next time we got one of those, I would do it. So let's go ahead and activate this and we could always come back here. Um. This means I need to go back to the control point so that I could fast travel here and take care of this bureau alert in maintenance. This body here. Somebody do something with this poor guy, man. Just leave him lying there. Okay, so we're going to fast travel uh, back to maintenance. Um... Let's see, where am I supposed to go in maintenance? Um, I guess maybe I need to look at the quest. That's not the right thing. Uh, go to the NSC energy converters. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to go. I 
Apparently I've picked up some mods. They have a new level 4 mod. Launch energy cost minus 16%. Shield strength plus 38%. Currently I've got health boost equipped. Um, which I kind of like. I could always use health. And then uh, grip. Got level 2 mods here. Equipped. Have a level three here. Oh well. Let's uh let's go to NSC energy converters and maintenance. And we'll take care of this bureau alert real quick. We do this to get materials, source, and other weird materials to uh, do some upgrading. Upgrading is important. So we'll take advantage of this. Okay. Um, energy converters are up here. Let's see how tough this is going to be. Is this the room? Yes, it is. Eliminate key hiss targets. Uh, oh gosh, these are pretty high-level dudes. Got him. Throw a chair at you. Throw a computer at you. Come on. Oh, Jesse must be out of uh, energy. Yeah, give me my energy back. Okay, we got him. Whoa, there's a bomb right there, I think. Yep. Oh, hi. Oh, okay, this guy is kind of high level. There's some goodies here. Oh, hey. Oh, oh gosh. Kind of snuck up next to me there. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Throw it, Jesse, throw it! Oh, come on, my mouse stopped working again. You gotta be kidding me. In the middle of a battle, why? Ah. Eh. Maybe it's time for a new mouse, huh? Doggone it. All right, give me a minute, let me fix this. Okay, mouse is working again. It's weird that the last time this happened in this game, um, was when I was doing a bureau alert and it was when I was trying to um, Launch things so it's like the mouse stopped working kind of under the same situation I haven't had the mouse stop working under any other condition hasn't stopped working uh, in any other game or in just using Windows regularly So this is just kind of strange uh, Let me get my bearings here Jeez. Oh, okay, well, um, and suddenly I'm dead. Um, I don't even saw what hit me, but uh, oh well. I guess I need to be a little bit more careful when I'm trying to do those things. Well, that was uh, kind of a waste. Don't know if I picked up anything cool there or not. But once you fail those, that's it. You do not get another chance to try them again. At least I don't think you do. So, that puts us back here. Um... This strange room is still here. I really can't wait to see what the heck is going on in these rooms. It's so weird, man. Uh, some more power cubes here. Yeah. Well. All right. Talk on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that mission is indeed gone. Yep, that's it. Okay. Well, let's uh. Let's go back. Um, still, I think there's might might be one other place where. Well, actually, yeah. Let's go back to the ritual division. That's right. We were kind of in the middle of something, weren't we? we we're trying to figure out how to get to that rubber ducky. But I'm still curious to know which room I was in or which place I was in where there was some glass that I could have broken. I need to figure that out too. I don't know if I finished my thought, but I um, kind of scrubbed through the, my previous episode looking for whatever room it might have been that had the glass in it. Doggone it. I don't want to fight you guys again. Well, I guess I kind of have to, don't I? Okay. Doggone it. Gosh. Oh, I moved already. Oh, gosh. This one's feisty. Ah. Uh, 
Damn it. Okay, he's down. Makes it much easier to take care of these guys. Oh, that was just a, a little... A little force. Good. Alright. So we're gonna run down this hallway. See, there's some goodies right there. Intrusive pattern material. And then over here... I wish I could turn on a light. It's pretty dark. We got some boxes. Um... Get out of the way here. We go in here. And then there's a thing up there, and I've been told that it is possible to stack boxes to get up there. It's pretty high, though, but there are boxes out here. Um, man, this is really dark. Uh, one thing I, one thing that happened before I started playing this game was, um, it did an update, and it, and it kind of reset some things, and it may have reset the brightness a little bit. I had the brightness turned up, uh, quite a bit, actually, uh, because, as with most games, when I record, um, it, um, it's pretty dark on YouTube. Okay, so here's a box here. This, this could be tedious. Could be. Oh, okay, I can't pick up these bigger boxes? Hmm. Oh, that's, doggone it, I'm not even holding a box. Well, this could be interesting. Or it could be not interesting. Hmm, well, unfortunately, I was hoping I could pick up these boxes, but it doesn't look like I can. So instead, we're going to be picking up a bunch of these. So we'll just kind of pile them up here. See how the physics engine works. Now oh, this looks like something I could pick up. Don't know if this is going to work or not. Okay, I think I made things worse. But we'll just, we'll just make a big pile. Looks like there's enough boxes out here to do exactly that. Where is it? Where'd it go? Did I drop it? Okay, this box, um... Did not want to seem to follow me in here. For reasons unknown. Uh, okay, here we go. Alright. Oh, ooh, that, ooh, that kind of worked out pretty nice. Okay, a little bit more. We'll get up there. There's a better way to do this. By all means, let me know. But I think this is pretty much it. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, darn it. I didn't mean to throw it. Okay. Nope. Maybe I need to climb up and then drop it. Nope. Okay. Well, kind of. Nope, that's not going to help me any. Doggone it. Um... Ugh. Nope. Because I don't, I don't want to throw it. <sighs> because, uh... Then it does stuff like that. That doesn't do me any good. I'm just making things worse. Well, uh, this is uh, turning out to be a little... Annoying. Oh, oh god, it's okay. Well, I'm just making things way worse. Um. Uh, okay. Well, I really did want to get in there, but this is looking to be a lot of trouble. Get up there. Nope, nope. Oh, the door's shut. The game's even like, dude, give it up. So if I can climb up here, drop it. I don't even know where it went. Why does the door keep shutting? Come here. Well, 
ain't gonna do us any good. That ain't gonna do us any good. Come on, get over there. Oh. Oh no, I've caught some things on fire over there. I mean, these boxes are out here. This is what they're for, I guess. Oh, it gave up on me. Oh, oh nope. Oh, something I would get lucky there, and it would mess. Let's see, can I get there? Oh, that's pretty far. She can jump pretty high. But not quite that high. Man, I have pretty good stacking going on right here, and I'm worried I'm going to mess it all up. Don't. Oh. Get back there. No, that's not even the one I wanted to pick up. No! Well... Maybe I just wait till I get this ability that I know I'm going to get eventually and get up there then. Come on. I keep saying I'm going to give up, but you know I'm not going to. Jessie keeps getting in the way herself. Nice base here. Oh, darn it. Mm. Let's see. Let me try standing here. No, they just keep rolling off. Well, I mean, I guess the physics are actually pretty good. But the, um,. Getting them to do what you want them to do is pretty difficult, really. Kind of afraid to move any of that stuff. Got a little bit of a foundation set up here. And there is no shortage of boxes, that's for sure. Come on, get through. Oh, man. Come on. Come on, Jesse, get up there. Get up here. Oh, darn it. Can't quite jump that high, can we, Jesse? No, we cannot. <laughs> I'm building something, man. Getting somewhere, I feel like. I was going to say, it looks like there's a door over there, but it's one of those sealed up doors. Darn it, I'm messing up. Well. Oh, I feel like I'm right on the verge, but uh, now uh, am I running out of good boxes to use? Oh, darn it. I meant to just drop it, not throw it. Yeah, I got a long way to go. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, that's not going to happen right now. All right. Okay. See, these these pieces of glass also have those reinforced bars in them, so I'm not going to be able to get through them either. So, so yeah, unfortunately, I don't know. Oh, come on. Really? Every time I come through here? need to fight everybody. Jeez. Get the crap out of here. Um, there is one other place that I want to go look at, though, while I'm here. Just trying to remember what places that I was looking at in the last episode that might have made somebody say, hey, there's some glass you could break. 
But again, this is all that reinforced stuff that I cannot break. It's interesting though because this this glass is broken, which makes you think that you can break it. But I don't know how the heck this glass broke. I can't break it. Um, I mean, I'm assuming that all of this is the reinforced stuff. Oh, that kind of blew up and almost killed me. All right, that was good. Can't get through there. Crap. Well, when I go back to a fast travel point and rest, I think I get my health back. So hopefully I'll be able to get back to a fast travel point without killing myself. Yeah, I can't get through this glass. All right, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what glass was being referred to. But yeah, I have no idea. All right. Let's go back to a control point. I hope we can get back to one without getting killed. Son of a bitch! Are you kidding me? Damn it! Oh! Yes, they were waiting to ambush me. Pretty smart, really. I can't see anything. Where are you? Jerks. Where's your health? There's another guy here. Golly! Am I not done yet? No, I'm not. Holy hell! How am I done? No Holy mother! You guys need to go away. Yeah, that's right. Jerks. Golly. None of them even left me any goodies. All right. Let us move on. Uh, we need to go back to... Where do we need to go? Um, Atlas Chamber? I think we're in the Atlas Chamber, right? That's where we are. Why is the Atlas Chamber in maintenance? Seems kind of weird. Strange place for Atlas Chamber to be. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so... Our good buddy Arish is up here. So let's go talk to him. Um... I don't... Let me see. Oh, wow. Apparently I didn't walk over here. Personal mod shield boost. I don't care about that. I don't. Oh, what's this? Oh, a new video. During an AWE investigation, our agents discovered a light switch cord in a Butte bungalow closet. They pulled the cord and were instantly transported to the Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream like a What? Inside, they found a door marked with an inverted black pyramid. And just like that, it, it led back to the oldest house, some 2,000 miles from Montana. N now we're finding the cord in increasing numbers throughout the Bureau. Somehow the two places, they, they became in tune to each other. The, the actual physical location of the ocean view is, is, is a mystery. Stepping beyond its walls has so far proven impossible. A place of power, like the oldest house. Hmm, wow, almost missed that video. That was interesting. During an AWE investigation, our agents discovered a light switch cord in a Butte bungalow closet. They pulled the cord and were instantly transported to the Ocean View Motel and Casino. Hmm. Wow. 
Okay, so uh, there's a shelter here, but I want to go over to the other side real quick. I mean, I'm pretty sure we did run up here at the end of the last episode. Um, but I just wanted to make sure... Okay. I thought that maybe there was, again, some glass I could have broken, but uh, it doesn't look like it. It's kind of weird, right? There's a room over there that's kind of blocked off by those uh, things. Let's go up here. So there's a shelter here. Threshold remnant. No reading material in here. Okay. Glad to see you're still you. I'm still me. Are you still you? I'm not doing so hot. Oh. You're fine. We'll push through this. The hiss of the ones doing the pushing, Doc. Yeah, well, we're gonna push back. Uh, here's a recording. Let's, um, listen to this. Ranger Squad Charlie's Ranger Squad Charlie 7 returned from an expedition into the quarry threshold just after 0500 Zulu. Can you please state your names and describe the purpose of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Wells. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. Secondary objective, as always, was to find a route from the threshold entrance and maintenance to the formation. Secondary objective was not a success. What a surprise. And did you encounter any previously unrecorded event or entity while inside the threshold? No, nothing. Do you think we should tell him about the mermaid? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, the mermaid. Horowitz here found this mermaid in the quarry, just sitting on some black rock. She was singing this beautiful song, and he was overcome with desire. Oh, she was so alluring. I'd say she was more enchanting than alluring. <laughs> Fine, enchanting. Um, did you tell your CO about this? No. Because it didn't happen. Nothing happened, as usual. The quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. Ha 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 ha, jokers. <laughs> Funny guys. Seven returned from an expedition into the quarry threshold just after... Uh, reading materials? Zulu. Can you please state your name? Uh, this one's called Marshall Trench's Behavior to El Sav Salvador from H. Marshall. Subject potential problem. Have you noticed the recent tension between Trench and Darling? They've both been acting odd lately. Trench concerns me the most. His sudden hostility towards Darling's project is very unlike him. He was the one to approve all this Hedron research in the first place, but after Darling unveiled those HRAs, he was livid. I personally don't see any reason not to equip Bureau staff with an additional protective device, especially not if it's as strong as Darling says. What do you make of this? Have you seen anything from either of them that strikes you as odd? Let's talk in person soon before the next Bureau Heads meeting, M. Hmm. So I'm thinking that Trench wants to communicate with somebody, but the HRAs are making that impossible? I don't know. Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Well. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates. Medic, what's the damage? They've each taken a few hits. We need to get them to a surgical station ASAP, but I don't think they're stable enough to move. To the formation. Yeah. But they're going to have to be there, because we are moving out, and I am not leaving them behind. Now do what you need to do. Okay, let's talk to Arish. What's up, Arish? Hey, thanks for bringing down that... whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? Hmm. The truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the Bureau is lost. We need Blackrock Prism to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Blackrock lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FBC. But Darling's lab is just past Blackrock processing. I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. 
Monster. That's what the rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and... Well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you, our fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. They don't know how I failed people. You've done a good job here, Arish, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. Monster, huh? Hmm. Mission updated. Find a black rock I the prison. Deal. You kill a hiss, I buy a shot. Well, you, shelf only. you owe me a lot of shots. Can we talk to him anymore? No, we cannot. So, our quest now looks like this. Jesse returns to the maintenance sector. She rescues a Reesh and a company of rangers from a hiss attack. Really? Is that what we do? Okay. So Blackrock Processing and Blackrock Lab is in this direction. If we look at the map... Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, you can see we're off there to the right. We're gonna go... I'm gonna call it south. Uh, I kind of feel like I'm not ready to do this. I kind of feel like there's like other areas in the game that I haven't explored uh, that would maybe make me stronger and make me more ready for this. Um, like if we look at the map, well, I can't look at the, let's see, we have to go back to the control points. So if we look at our map and we look at uh, executive, I, I, I'm Pretty sure we've explored all of Executive. Uh, but Maintenance, there's still a bunch of areas that we have not... Well, actually, that's where we are right now. <laughs> We're in Maintenance. Um, I wonder if Ati has another job for us. We could go back there um, and do that job for him. Or we could just see what's ahead of us and see if we are ready for it. And if not, then maybe we could back off and try to make ourselves more powerful. So let's just go forward. Just stay calm and keep those HRAs on. We'll get you out soon. We got a door here that we currently can't get through. There's a body. room with nothing in it. Yeah. Another dead guy. Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. Oh, a new bureau alert. Man, these things come up at the most inconvenient times. Research major targets. Well, let's get to it. I don't know how those things are, like, are they timed? Do they come up every so often? Is it just completely random? I don't know. All right, so this is just another example of trying to do something to uh, make myself more powerful. And uh, doing these bureau alerts, like I said, as a way to, um, whoops, uh, do exactly that, get myself more materials and stuff. So, we need to go to the Ritual Division. Well, there you go. Back to the Ritual Division. We're very familiar with that place. Here we go. So, let's see if I can be a little bit smarter about this this time. And uh, not die. But, man, I mean, when I died in the last one of these, I felt like I, I didn't think anything even hit me. It didn't feel like. It's just like... All of a sudden, my health was low, and then all of a sudden, I was dead. So here we are in Ritual Division, and it's kind of starting me off in a kind of annoying spot. Let's see. I wouldn't mind having another. There we go. This is a good thing to throw at people. Is he coming up behind me? 
Oh man, I didn't do much to him at all. Huh, that was disappointing. I guess I didn't hit him. Did I get him? Okay, cool. We got him. Here comes more trouble. Oh, crap. Jeez, am I even hitting him? This is it for my power right now. Damn it! Oh my gosh, they hit so hard! A little bit of health down here. Not much, but some. Damn. These guys hit hard, man. I like these uh, fire extinguishers. I like throwing these. Oh, really? Oh, okay, whatever. Just appear out of nowhere. Okay, get some health. Oh, he's still not dead. Finally, jerk. Oh, here comes more. Damn these things. Okay, let's move up here. Well, this is just one at a time. At least it's just one at a time this time. Got it. Okay, see, look at all the cool materials we get. We got a lot of materials. <sighs> Alright. So. Hopefully that was worth it. If you look at collectibles. Well, not collectibles. Assets, no? Loadout? Uh huh. Uh, seize accelerator. Okay, well there you go. We got some uh, some new materials. Awesome. All right, <laughs> jumping around a lot this episode. Back to uh, Atlas Chamber. I don't. I don't know. I don't think there's anything. Well, let's see if we could construct anything. Weapon forms. Uh, well, the the only thing we have left to do here is to upgrade our pierce, and I don't want to do that anyway. I wasn't too impressed with that weapon, to tell you the truth. Uh, mods. Eh. Upgrade. I think this will allow us to enable higher tier mods. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're up to four. So... Obscured personal mod, prime, and uh, one of these. Um, hmm. I don't know if I want to make any of these or not. Kind of like to just pick them up instead of using my materials. But uh, we'll see how that goes. All right. Let's see what's up with this monster. Put more pressure on that wound. Not looking forward to this. No, sir, I'm not. Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. He wasn't kidding. Okay, we're in Black Rock pro Processing now. We got a door there that we can't open because we're not level 5. Bunch of dead dudes. Here's some reading material. Swan boat procedures. Hmm. Containment procedure. No unique procedures are required. Uh, description slash altered effect. Item is made of fiberglass painted to resemble a swan. Foot pedals allow the item to propel forward in water. The item emits a pulse of physical force at an estimated force of blank. Possible connection to OOP5. Measuring the exact force created by the item has been hindered by concerns from the Human Resources Department. Okay. Uh, this was acquired in 1983. You 
It's located in the Panopticon, Floor 5, Unit 10, background. The item was seized from an activity rental service called Blank, located on Lake Blank on Vancouver Island, Canada, after it ejected numerous riders over the course of a summer, bringing the boat to the attention of the media. The item was transported to the Bureau by helicopter. A containment specialist accompanied it, accompanied it sent to recite formulas C.9 through 32 recursively. What occurred in the helicopter is not known, but all agents were lost in the crash. The item was recovered and then transported by train. It arrived at the Bureau without further incident. Oh my. Hmm, I wonder what all these slabs are. It looks like I could pick them up and throw them. Yeah. Oh, is this black rock? Like processed black rock, maybe? Could be. Man, all these guys just laying dead in here. Can't you guys lay dead someplace else? I don't think I have level 5 clearance yet. No, I don't. Okay. You me the HRA when I first got here. And the machine that makes them. Mm hmm Can you help me find a prism? What? A prism? Okay. Black rock prism, I guess. Well, this is a scary looking big room where horrible, terrible things are going to happen. Well. Yeah. There's, um. Not just a window up there. Okay. Huh, here we go. Something here. Something important. Shit! They're shattered! What the fuck? Shit, they're shattered. Okay, so we've got something weird here. And it does seem to be a monster. Where'd it go? Where the hell did this thing go? I hear it. Oh, goody. Okay, so this thing does, uh, things like... Okay. That was it? <laughs> Let's hurry up. Whoops, sorry. Uh, Hiss Distorted, field research on Hiss Entity, Hiss Distorted Agent. Confidential summary, Hiss Distorted Agents are able to render themselves invisible and emit a powerful concussive blast when in close range of their target. That's funny because I was thinking, oh, getting close to them is the way to kill them. Uh, curiously, the Hiss Distorted is apparently not able to utilize both abilities at once. It must make itself visible when it goes on the offensive. The Hiss Distorted is unique in the fact that it wields a paranatural ability previously unknown to the Bureau, perhaps tapping into a yet undiscovered object of power. How does this invisibility work? Does the Distorted become resonance temporarily? Does it use Hiss Resonance to reflect, refract light? The physical deformation of this particular Hiss entity is noteworthy in its thoroughness. Clearly, the human host would have died from such extreme alteration, which prompts the question, are the corrupted simply animated corpses? Find Darling's lab. <laughs> well, that was one of the easiest enemies we fought. <laughs> that guy was a piece of cake. Um, so now, if we look at our mission, uh, that's it. Same thing. Search Dr. Darling's Black Rock Lab. Well, there's a lab over there. So let's get in it and search it, I guess. I want to watch this from here so I get the whole picture. Black Rock. There are areas 
in the oldest house, where under the right conditions, when the frequencies match, other dimensions leak in. We call these areas thresholds. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's, that's where black rock comes from, extra dimensional matter. It has the unique property of blocking out a lot of frequencies, a, a good thing. It keeps things stable, contained. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check. That's what the Black Rock line fire breaks are about. The panopticon container cells. Uh, sorry to interrupt, sir, but I need the code for the quarry elevator. Oh, uh, Emily, the codes, Black Rock 665, <laughs> neighbor of the beast. Get it? We can do that again if you. <laughs> well, now we know the code. <laughs> That's where Black Rock comes from. You Extra heard that too, right? Matter. Heard Black what? Black Rock comes it has the from unique threshold. Out a Marty. Uh, uh, so the prisms must be there too. Contained. Think of it as. Okay. Our research All right. So she had something to say about that video. We absolutely need to keep in check. All right. Uh, reading material here? No, not reading material. There is reading material here. Okay. Uh, what? Huh? Okay. Um, I'm trying to. This should get us into the quarry. Six six five. All right. I'm waiting for this. Recording to stop. We can do that again. So I picked something up right then. Um, but I don't know what it was that we just picked up. Research and records. Or maybe it was just clearance, you know, clear level five clearance is what we picked up, maybe. Um, but yeah, we picked something up here, and normally when I pick something up, then I hold down the G button, and uh, it brings it up on the screen. But that time it didn't happen. Something here though. <sighs> Doc on it. Um, here we go. This interface is really weird. Utilization of Paranatural Elements Black Rock Summary. Black Rock has allowed the Bureau to make great strides in containment procedures since it was first discovered. This report will examine how its very structure is comprised of blank density that nullifies all resonances with a range of blank to blank hertz. Bureau innovations that incorporate Black Rock will be analyzed, most notably the fire breaks feats of engineering designed to contain any future outbreaks, attacks, or other internal threats. The goal of this report is to encourage Bureau staff to explore further innovations using Black Rock, as work in that field has markedly slowed in recent years. Okay. Um, so we have a, a level 5 clearance now, which will us, allow us to get into that room, but there's rooms... Uh, back behind us that uh, also had level 5 clearance and I'd kind of like to go back to those um, get into those rooms but man I wish there was a um, control point closer by but it does not appear to be the case here some ritual impulse here That clock is not moving. Okay, nothing else in here for us, I don't think. So yeah, um, I remember there was a level five door. Um, I guess we're not too far away from a control point. But I remember there's a level five door where we very first met up with um, Marshall. Remember that? And then there was a level 5 door just recently, but I don't remember where it was. Well, maybe we are pretty far away from a control point. Jeez. Still can't get through there. If we look at the map... Huh, okay. Not sure where that'll take us. 
Maybe once we've made our way through Black Rock Processing, that door will open up. Huh, that door opened. That was kind of creepy. I, uh, I took care of the monster. Ow. So yeah, long, actually kind of a long way back to this control point. Man, where was that other level 5 room that I just saw? Man. I don't know how the heck you're supposed to keep track of all this. So where did we very first come across Marshall? It was right outside of Ritual Division, wasn't it? Uh, it was... Luck and Probability is where it was. Yeah. Although I'm not sure if Central Research will take me there or not, but I guess there's only one way to find out. But yeah, I remember it was in the room um, with all the like luck items, like horseshoes and stuff. That's where we very first met Marshall, so there should be a level 5... Well, I know there's a level 5 door in there. Um, luck and probability right here. There's so many areas in this game, like this one right here, that I, I just rushed through one time, you know? And then other areas of game that I've been... Uh, other areas of the game that we've been through many, many times. Okay, let's see what's in here. Interesting looking room. Over here we've got... A light. Can't see the... I don't know where the light source is. I don't know. Um, over here... An elephant, a cat, a four-leaf clover, a light bulb, a horseshoe, and a fish. Okay. Oh, goody. Huh. Okay. Over here. Lucky item manifest. Uh, bronze koi fish china attracts abundance, abundance and wealth feng shui. Horseshoe, Ireland, wards off evil, orientation important, heads up, allows luck to be kept, heads down, luck flows outward. Uh, Maneki Neko, Japan, beckoning cat used in shops, Paul held up to beckon customers, creating luck for the business owner. Four-leaf clover, Ireland, shamrock, rare plant variation, connections to druidic healing rituals. Elephant, China, protection, good luck, wisdom, feng shui, light bulb, various documented gambling rituals indicate luck is produced when all lights in the room are turned on. Note, effects of items to be tested. Consider investigating the orientation of horseshoe. Also consider positioning of feng shui objects. Proximity of luck items may influence luck readings. For more information on ritual, use lucky actions to perform and avoid and relevance to OCD behavior, see this file. Okay. Wow, I was not expecting this. Over here. Another light. So you turn on all the lights, and you get lucky. Okay. Alright, so I guess this little light here itself is the light source. Although I don't... I guess it does get a little bit brighter. So all the lights are on. Uh, here is a roulette wheel. And um, here is where we would place our bet. Okay, everything is on seven. So... This, I guess, is the roulette wheel. Um, okay, so it's telling us stand outside the square. Don't stand close to it, right? Um, make sure all the light bulbs are on. It says something about a um, uh, four-leaf clover and a light bulb and a fish. We don't know about the horseshoe, the elephant, or the cat. Um, I 
Is this... Yeah, this light's on. It's hard to tell. Yeah. So... There were more luck items out here. I don't know if I saw the fish. Those things. There's the horseshoe. This is... Oh, the four-leaf clover. Does that mean I have it with me? Is that what that means? I, ha I now have it with me? And the fish... I take it with me. Come on, fish. Okay, the fish... Uh, needs to be... Less than two feet away from me, maybe? Okay, maybe that's it. Can I reach this from here? Uh, this is saying to stand on... The other side. Does it matter? Just don't... St so I've got the four-leaf clover, I think. I've got the lights turned on. I've got the fish less than two feet away from me. It doesn't really know about the horseshoe, the elephant, or the cat. Okay. What number did it land on? It's on, um... I can't, I can't tell. So it's on... Whoops, sorry. I, I can't tell. I think it's on a two. So I don't think I won. So... Um... And I can't... Does the fish need to be less than two feet away from me? Or less than two feet away from the table? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell was that? Okay... Um, what number did the ball land on this time? Well, it didn't land on where the chips are. It landed on red eight. What the hell? Um, oh. Oh, okay, the TV tells you what it landed on. Okay. Oh. Okay, I put the 40 clover there. Okay, I didn't see that before. All right. Let's try it now. Stand back. Five. What the? Answer the phone? Oh, darn it. Okay. Darn it. Missed the phone. Whoa. What's going on out there? It's still on five? Um. Well, whatever I'm doing isn't working. I didn't mean to throw the fish. I just want to drop it on the ground here. So we got the lights. We don't know about the cat or the horseshoe. Or the elephant. Um, I can't activate this thing unless I am within two feet. You know? So... Come here, fish. Come a little closer to me here. Nope. Four doesn't do anything. Well, I mean... Man, I wish I could have got to that phone quickly enough to answer it. The elephant, I don't know what. Let's see, let's have the thing hitting the elephant, I don't know. Let's 
stand close to the fish. Okay. Oh, those are like uh, fire extinguishers that are blowing up. Okay. Um, then... Horseshoe, surely we need to turn that up, right? For luck. And then I guess we want the cat doing its little paw thing. Okay, that's good luck there. I don't know. What about this horseshoe? Or this? I don't know. I'm not even sure what's going to happen if I figure this out. Did it. Oh, cool. I got some ability points and some material. Okay, well, there you go. I figured it out. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess that was worth it, right? Got some cool stuff. All right. Well, that was kind of interesting. I do not want to run in there. I get attacked. All right, well, I'm going to run back to uh, this control point, save the game. Damn it. Here, screw you people. I guess I need to actually fast travel out of here. Uh, we'll fast travel back to, I guess, Atlas Chamber, because that's where we're going to want to be at the beginning of the next episode, I think. And we'll say screw you to those guys. I need to remember where that other level 5 door was, though. Um, I'll figure it out. And then, still... Huh? This should get us into the quarry. What? Okay, I don't know what she's talking about. Okay, well, a lot of strange stuff going on, uh, but I have to end this episode here. As always, I thank you guys for joining me. And I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.